Ba -da -da. So today I'm trying to, trying to, I'm going to share a tip of, or tip or trick or something that maybe might be helpful to you. Hopefully I am not the only one this has happened to when you are putting on your beautiful bold lip, liquid lipstick, I mean maybe even regular lipstick, and then all of a sudden you mess up, or you go down too far, or you line one side long more than the other, or for some reason maybe the liquid lipstick wasn't the best formula, and it has started to feather or crease down. Um, this has happened to me a couple of times more so because I just stink at trying to line my bottom, and I will either, you know, I have shaky hands and it's like, ah! I'm like, oh no. So this is something I have had to learn how to fix. So for the purpose of this, I'm gonna mess up my lipstick. Hopefully the first and last time I ever say that purposely, mess it up. I mean, honestly, a lot of the times it's not even like you mess it up and you're like, oh, I can fix it. It's just that you're, like, for me, when I do red, I'm left with... Oh, see, there's that, that. Okay, so you might not be able to tell, but I'm able to wipe it off, but it's left with, like, a smudge red appearance. So something that I do, and for this, I'm going to take... And honestly, you could do this even if you had a really, um mess up your liquid lipstick too much if you just really wanted to make sure you got a cut lip you know what I mean some people like cut creases you want to snatch the lip I will be taking I just have red lipstick everywhere now yeah do it for the tube yeah I was wiping the wrong finger I'm going to take an elf is just like a flat um, liner brush and then I take a concealer Usually whatever concealer I'm using at that moment, not a certain type. I'm just taking the shape tape and I'm going to take that concealer and focus it on the top part and even this part, the very tip of it. And then I'm going to swipe this. First I'm going to um, pat around the area. And drag it along and I, for the purpose of this I'm actually gonna cut my whole lip honestly this is nice for when to watch out too because like I just hit that on my lip this is nice if you just like you want to clean up your lip and make it very snatched On the, so you can probably see a little bit of the concealer still that I got on my lip, which is honestly it's easy if you get the concealer on your lip, go in and dot it. And you're fine. Then what I also do is I take my Real Techniques, the flat end and the route, I just choose one of these and I make it my lip. Because there was a point in time where this was happening to me a lot. And then I just go around where I had all that concealer. And see I just dragged it more down. Again, it's this is a pain. It's what you do for a snatched lip. It's just very easy to clean up. I actually will even go as far I think it makes your lips look bigger. Because the concealer um, cleans up underneath and makes it like brighter. I could honestly all be my head and I'm okay with that because that's all that matters is what I think of my own face. 
but okay. And this, I'm just taking the beauty, uh, the real technique sponge because when you place it down with the flat definer, when you're trying to move it around, it might not soak up all the product you want. But I find this curves along your lip. And then you have a nice clean lip. This is perfect for any type of lip. I preferably like it with stuff even darker than this. Small mess ups, just a little concealer and a flat definer and you are good to go. I hope this is helpful for you and you enjoyed it and you have some snatched lips. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up, thumbs half up, subscribe and let me know down in the comments if this was helpful or if you have some tip and tips and tricks of your own that you would like to share on how to snatch the pout. Thank you guys. Have a great day, night, evening, sleep, school, all of the above. Love this highlight. Alright, bye.